The scripture reference that I have chosen for this month is Luke chapter 17, verses 11 to 19, which is the story about the ten lepers. And the painting that I think is appropriate is by an artist named James Christensen. Luke chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. Tell us about Jesus healing the ten lepers. Leprosy is a highly contagious disease, and therefore they had to live on the edges of society, and everybody avoided them. And Jesus had compassion on them and healed them. And they joyfully went on their way. But then one of the lepers returns to Jesus. He has realized the magnitude of what has just happened. He's been given a new life. He can now return to his family, return to his friends. And so he falls down in front of Christ. And Christ tells him to get up again. And the word that he uses in Greek for that is anastasis. And anastasis is the word that the scripture writers use with regard to the resurrection of Christ. And so I think what we're getting at and what the scripture writers are saying is that Christ is giving this tenth leper a new life. He's no longer the same. He's been transformed into a different person. He's different from the other nine who've been healed. That he's now entering into a new life. And that's what Christ is offering us. That the closer and closer we come to Christ, we have a new life in Christ. It's not a continuation of where we've been. It's not like going along a parallel road. We now start to go off at a tangent on a new direction. And the painting that I have chosen by James Christensen I think shows this. We, we look at that tenth leper's face. It's like he can't believe what has just happened to him. He's in awe of what has just taken place. And so we see him turning round to look at Christ. And it's not for me to tell you what I see in that face. But I'm sure that as you reflect on this painting, you will come to your own conclusions of the power that has gone to him and changing him. And then the way his hands are spread, that we can see that he's totally healed. And so in awe and wonder, he returns to Christ. And so I think James Christensen has captured very intimately the change in the life of that tenth leper as he goes back to say thank you to the Lord for what he has done. When we look at the painting, we do see that dichotomy between the nine who are joyful and happy and running off into the distance. It's as though they're going to jump up and down in the air. And there, it's also a comedic sort of event for them, the way they're dressed, the look on their faces. It's typical, in a way, of James Christensen's other paintings, uh, many of which were had a fantasy element. And there is a huge difference between the nine who have gone off and the one who has remained. And so we also, in our reflections on the scripture passage, 
no doubt will reflect on the nine and then on the tenths. And maybe the painting by James Christensen helps us to enter more deeply into the differences between the nine and the one. They've all been healed, but there is a difference in the reaction to the healing with the group who are going off into the distance and the one who is going to return to Christ. Now that we have looked at the painting, the question is, what do you see? In the 